You have tax payments overdue of nearly £24,000. Can you give us a check today? M maybe I can, and maybe I can't. <laughs> Please, we've had all of this last year, Mr. McCooney. You've got to take this seriously. Uh, yes. Can you give us the cheque today? <laughs> That's not the answer I'm looking for. You'd help yourself a lot more, Mr. McCooney, if you started giving us some straight answers. Your form here is incomplete. Gross income, yes. Net income, yes. No, it's not yes, it's yes. <laughs> you can't just put down yes. You do know that, don't you? Yes. So, can you give us some payment today? What if I were to offer you six magic beans? <laughs> Probably wouldn't be interested. Seven magic beans. Nope. How about a talking noisy box? Inside, there are tiny sprites are talking to you. But they can't hear your mind unless they're doing a the phone in. No. <laughs> you want the pickle a don't you? You'll never take it, never. Go, oh, have it, have it, and be gone. I'll tell you what, Mr. McCuney. Why don't you pick up your quill? Yes. And your magic money paper. Oh, yes. Put your mark upon it. Yes. And we'll do the rest. Yes, 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 yes. Good day. Fare thee well, keepers of the purse. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> now, you know it's Declan's birthday coming up. Who? Declan, your brother. Yeah, no. It was his birthday coming up and you've got to get him a card. Now, can you see any you like? Oh, that one. That one? Yeah. Well, that says with deepest sympathy. Yeah, no. Well, that's what you send someone when somebody died. Oh, that one. Well, I'm not sure Declan's going to like that. It's going to send out the wrong message. No, Declan likes sailing boats. Why don't we get one with, with sailing boats on it? Oh, that one. This one's got a sailing boat. Do you like sailing boats? That one. Are you sure this is the card you want to send your brother Declan for his birthday? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> She's baffed, he's not dead. <laughs> Anything to take your fancy, sir? No, thanks, I'm just looking. Is humorous book about cricket? <laughs> Forward by John Major? No, thanks. Complete set of black header there. Yeah, OK, I'll take them. Oh, no, hang on, there's, uh, there's no black header three. I think I'll leave it. Look into my eyes, look into my eyes, the eyes, the eyes. Look around the eyes, don't look around the eyes, look into my eyes. You're under. What you see before you is a complete set of black videos. There was no black header three. Anyway, it's called black the third. Three, two, one. You're back in the room. Oh, OK. Take them. <sighs> There you go. Cheers. Lovely. You, uh, the Light Red Dwarf? <laughs> Got the, uh, whole first series there, including smeg ups. <laughs> I know, I've, I've got these, uh, take them off the telly. Look into my eyes, look into my eyes. The eyes, the eyes, not around the eyes, don't look around the eyes, look into my eyes. You're under. You did not repeat not take Red Dwarf off the television, you cheapskate. Three, two, one. You're back in the room. Okay, take those as well. There you go. Well, I, uh, I see you're a bit of a comedy fan. How about that? I oh, know, I saw that. It was rubbish. Look into my eyes, look into my eyes. The eyes, the eyes are around the eyes. Don't look around the eyes. Look into my eyes. You're under. Paul Merton in Gorton and Simpsons, The Blood Donor, was hilarious and just as funny as when Tony Hancock did it. Three, two, one. You're back in the room. Yeah, don't push your luck, mate. <laughs> Minister, I believe that 
primo ministro. A very special bond between our two nations. Credo che il rapporto speciale tra le due nostre nazioni can only grow stronger uh, in this difficult time. Diventa sempre più forte durante questo periodo difficile. As you know, this evening I will be having talks with the uh, president of France, whom I believe. Hi, Sebastian. Sebastian. Um, Sebastian. I'm in a very important meeting. Uh, un meeting molto can't wait. No, no Prime Minister, it can't. No, What's all this about you flying off to China tomorrow? We're supposed to be having a meeting. It's a matter of grave international importance. And I'm afraid the meeting about your agricultural report will have to wait. I had my head on and everything. <laughs> Sebastian, please. Sebastian, you just use me when you want, Michael, then you just throw me away. Can you please stop translating this? Smettiamo. Thank you. Come here. Don't touch me. You can do without the hysterics. Oh, I'm being hysterical, am I? Oh, no, I'm not going to... I think Prime Minister Coluccio should know what you're really like. The meeting tomorrow is off. Oh, well, I've got other plans now anyway. Oh, have you? <laughs> yeah, um, the leader of the opposition has invited me around for tea. So just think about that when you're on your little plane tomorrow. <laughs> Bye, Sebastian. Whatever. Goodbye, Mr. Italian Prime Minister. <laughs> Ciao. Oh, Ciao. <laughs> Ciao. <laughs> Get out! <laughs> Sorry about that. Dolente. Guarda, se lei l'ama, corri dietro. What did she say? Oh, the Prime Minister say, if you love him, go after him. <laughs> Yesterday's test did not make for happy reading. Mitra, the answer to question two was Golden Wonder, not KP. <laughs> Phillips, how many times do you need to be told? Red for ready salted, blue for salt and vinegar. <laughs> Patel, the two variables on the graph were pickled onion and prawn cocktail. <laughs> Wilson, you could have had cheese and Owen or Smokey Beckham. There is no such flavour as prawn collimore. <laughs> Pepper Thessonal, please note Monster Munch's maze base. This was all covered in the first term. Put maze. Frazzles, Denton, not quavers. They look like rashes for Pete's sake. The clue is in the bag. Yes, you got 95%. Well done. I particularly enjoyed your diagram of a Watsit. <laughs> Irving number five was Oxbow Lakes, otherwise good. Where is Irving? He's having his tonsils out, sir. <laughs> and finally, Palfrey, best before. Sea base of pack. Mm. So it is with great reluctance that I have decided to accept the minister's resignation. I'll take a few questions. A Boyd Hilton smash hits. <laughs> Prime Minister. Do you admit that the Foreign Secretary lied to the House? I've answered that question already. Next. Greg Davis Puzzler, uh, <laughs> have you appointed a replacement? We'll be making an announcement shortly. Angus Thomas Kerrang. Who's next to go from your cabinet? There will be no more resignations from my cabinet. Roy Sloan, Wizard and Chips, are you concerned you've lost your strongest ally in the cabinet? There is no rift in the cabinet. Andrew Jarman, Dinosaur Magazine. What was your reaction? Sorry, I don't know that one. It's new. You get a free binder with part one. You collect it over 24 weeks. It's everything you need to know about dinosaurs. Oh, yeah. Uh, go ahead. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, I've forgotten the question. Uh, Roger Wakeley, Asian Babes. Um, given your support of yet another disgraced minister, don't you think that your position has become untenable? Certainly not. One more question. George Paxton, Daily Telegraph. Yes. Who's your favourite member of Westlife? <laughs> Have you seen anything you fancy? Yeah, I want that one. That one? Yeah. Well, that is a book on Chinese history. Yeah, I know. Well, as you know, you weren't even looking at it. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it all looks a bit involved, really. Now, how about that book I was telling you about in the van? About the cave boy who lived in a rubbish tip? 
Dig in the dump. I don't want that one. That is Chinese language and its origins. Again, it, it, uh, it might be a little bit hard for you. I want it. Well, all right. You've got these two. Now, you're allowed one more. Shall we see if we can find Dig in the Dump? That one. <laughs> that one? Yeah. That is the same one as you've got there. <laughs> well, you're sure you want these three? Yeah. You're positive? Yeah. All right. Let's go and get them stamped. So, are you happy with your choices? Yeah. You're sticking with these three? Yeah. Good. I can't read. <laughs> now, which soup do you want for your tea? That one. That one? Yeah. Well, that's whole sweet red peppers? Yeah, I know. Well, I'll get you some creamy tomato. You like creamy tomato, don't you? Here. What are you doing? Robin. It's very wrong to steal. You do know that, don't you? Yeah, I know. Well, put that back, then. I am very disappointed in you, Andy Pipkin. I don't ever want to see you do anything like that ever again. Do you hear? Sorry. Right. Now... We're all out of beans. Now, I could get you the normal ones, or the ones with a little chip of lasses in. Oh, They're doing a special offer on Alphabetti Spaghetti. <laughs> Andy? 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 Don't eat all the bread, that's for the duck. Yeah, no. Oi, oi, I said, <laughs> come over here and say that. Right above it. Take him a mess. Oh, just ignore it. <laughs> Someone should give them lot of smack. Well, I thought you said you were against violence. I thought you said that violence is the last bastion of moral cowardice. Yeah, I know. Well, leave it then. Come on, let's feed the ducks. Oi, oi, Davros. Peaceful oh. <laughs> here, innit? You really think in respect on your life. I find the wolves are very calm. I know you do too. Especially on a day like today. Absolutely magical. All the troubles in the world just float away. Oh, good, they've gone. See? Rise above it. <laughs> Have you seen anything you might like yet? Yeah, I want that one. On that one? Yeah. Uh, well, that is Pride and Prejudice. Yeah, I know. Well, <laughs> I'm not sure you like that one. I like that one. Well, <laughs> it's all set in the olden days. No, I'm not sure you like that. You like your Chuck Norris's and your Stephen Thigales. Yeah, I know. Well, <laughs> just to be on the safe side, why don't we get a film with guns in it as well, just in case you don't like this one? I like that one. Well, you know I'm going to go and see Maria tonight. Though I can't take it back and get another one if you don't like it. Yeah, no. Are you sure you want this one? Yeah. I don't like you. <laughs> well, I'm sorry, but you're stuck with it. I told you. I've got to go and see Maria. Look, I'll be back around thick. It is a sin. Morning, Dathed. Good morning, Steve S. Now, I just had a phone call from Ruth. She got terrible morning sickness, see, and she's not coming in today. Oh. So I'm going to put you with the new boy, Ethan. Ethan! You're 10 o'clock, sir. Do you know, I think Ethan might be a gay. I think that's very unlikely. I am the only gay in the village. Hiya! I'm Ethan, but all my friends call me Fanny. <laughs> Follow me. Well, 
too early to tell. <laughs> Come along now, take the weight off your lollies. It's a nice big skirt around you. <laughs> now, what can we do for you? A nice wash and blow? Would you like that? A blow? <laughs> Just a light trim, please. There you are. So, do you, uh, do you go out much? Not really. Is there much of a scene? I beg your pardon? A scene, dear, a gay scene, you know, cocks and frocks. No, there is no gay scene in Tlandui Brevi. Just me. Really? Yes, I am the only gay in the village. Oh. Not anymore, dear. Funny's in town. <laughs> there you are, loves. Oh, no signs. Fanny, love. I forgot your keys. Thanks, I am a dizzy cow. <laughs> right. Engine bracket need walk, so I'll see you later. His brother. Oh, we're easy to find. When you see the hanging three, take a left. When you come to the old well, take a right. If you pass a scarecrow, you've come too far. <laughs> Yeah, that's right, opposite Ikea. <laughs> ah, Squire Mackenzie, I trust you enjoyed your stay. Yes, I shall be submitting a very positive review to the Chronicle. Oh, uh, just one thing, the three courses for 15 pounds said menu, is that available on a Sunday? If you'd ask me on a Monday, I'd say yes. <laughs> if you'd ask me on a Tuesday, I'd say... Yes! <laughs> if you'd ask me on a Wednesday... Well, for heaven's sake, it's a very simple question. Do you serve the set menu on a Sunday? If you ask me on a Monday, I'd say yes. If you ask me on a Tuesday, I'd say... <laughs> yes! If you'd ask me on a Wednesday, I'd say yes. Are chips? Uh, just through there. <laughs> Where was I? Oh, yes. If you should ask me on a Monday, I'd say oh, yes. Oh, for goodness sake, man, it's a very simple question. Do you serve the set menu on a Sunday? I'll tell you, but through the medium of Dan. <laughs> Children? Does that answer your question? 